In some aspects of disaster response, what you have at your disposal is an unmanned autonomous system. What we're interested in is exploring how the human first responder and these UASs can work together as a really close-knit team. So I should bring up a terminal. In any kind of disaster, having an aerial view is really invaluable for gathering information about the situation on the ground. Whereas before this was always manned flight, now UAVs are providing this really versatile, cheap alternative for, for doing this. Um, but at the moment, those kind of platforms are really labour intensive. So someone has to decide, where am I going to fly this thing? What am I going to look at next? Someone else might have to then trawl through all of that video footage in order to figure out, okay, what are the key things here that we're really interested in? So in ORCA, what we're interested in doing is, is supporting this and allowing more UAVs to be used by, by fewer people. How can we get the UAVs to decide themselves? What should I look at next, given what I've seen already? So for instance, if I fly up as a UAV and have a look down, if I see something on the ground, I'm not quite sure what it is. Should I take a closer look at that, or should I pass it on to a human and say, is this, is this something that we're really interested in? Second thing is coordination. So if we have more than one UAV, how can they decide amongst themselves how to break up that task to make the best use of their combined resources? And finally is flexible autonomy. So neither the machine or the, the person acts in isolation. So you want to be able to make things easier for the human by letting the UAVs take control of some of the decisions. But at the same time, you want the human to be able to understand those decisions and also be able to intervene in those decision processes as well. 